must remember to put up a sign. Please knock before trespassing. Well, uh, what do I do? Um, salute? Do thieves salute? If there's something worse than a trespasser, it must certainly be a name caller. To liberty and to beauty. Now, how about some champagne? Then you can toast me. How long have you been in this room, Robley? Mm, about 32 hours. I checked in yesterday at 2.30 a.m. Paris time. I'm only interested in tonight. Am I suspected of something? Yes, of stealing the Queen's jewels. I really don't have to answer such a discourteous insinuation. Excuse me. I did not steal the royal jewels. Are you playing games with me? Games? Repeat that, please, if you can. My apologies, Mr. Robley. <laughs> it's quite all right. Uh, as a matter of fact, you're, uh, you're welcome to search my rooms. Maybe I didn't ask you the right question. Mm, it's a distinct possibility. Must I? I hate the idea of being forced into doing anything. It's my criminal nature, I suppose. May I have some more champagne? Please? Please. I should have asked you if you knew where they were hidden. And I would have told you they were most probably in the consulate security room. Go on. Well, as you undoubtedly know, stealing is the only work I'm trained to do. And may I say that none of my other professional endeavors have introduced me to such a charming investigator. <clears throat> well, what a pity it was all for nothing. Call these nothing? A well, slight exaggeration, I suppose. Actually, they're worth, in these inflationary times, about uh, $83. I asked you if you'd stolen the royal jewels. You're telling me these are fakes? Or phonies, if you prefer. Cheap imitations. Well, why did you bother? I was tricked, and so are you. <sighs> it's Queen Catherine who's been tricked. She's the one who's going to suffer. Whoever stole the real jewels has stolen her throne as well. She'll be forced to abdicate. Really? Yes, but she won't give up without a fight. They don't call her the wild shamrock for nothing. Robley, we have to devise a plan to get those jewels back before the reception. Do you know where they are? I'm not sure. The real jewels were stolen long before I stole the fakes. Who do you suspect? I think I can prove who took them on two conditions. First, you must keep yourself hidden for about five minutes. And, um... Second. A bothersome detail, actually. Amnesty. Amnesty? Mm-hmm. Why should you be given amnesty? All right. I do have a few friends at the IADC. I might be able to arrange it for you. I'll just invite my suspect in here. You're supposed to be on your way to the airport. S somehow I, uh, I feel shortchanged. Mr. Robley? You make an excellent detective. Please, there's no need to be cruel. At least I know who's behind this, and I thank you. You're welcome. He undoubtedly has the jewels in the security room. It's the only logical place. He wouldn't risk moving them from the consulate. And the security room provides maximum protection. Maximum is an understatement. Well, then how could you have possibly expected to get in there in the first place? Did you have a plan, or...? Of course I have a plan. Good. Then I'll help you carry it off. Better still, we'll release Steve Trevor and there'll be three of us. The floor of the vault could blow all three of us to kingdom come.